to Bethesda Temple Southeast Campus, a place where God is. We are asking, hallelujah, that you greet each other in Jesus' name. You're going to give them a shoulder, a fist bump, hallelujah, being socially distanced, but we want to greet each other in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, clap those hands. Come on, clap those hands while you greet them. Come on, help us praise them. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. And the King of glory shall come in. And the King of glory shall come in. And the King of glory shall come in. Come on, praise him. Praise team, amen. Hallelujah. 
The songwriter said the king of glory shall come in. Amen. See, when we praise the Lord, hallelujah, it invites the presence of the Lord where we are. Amen. The Bible declares he dwells in the midst of praises. How many thank God that he is here? Amen. God is here. Let's clap our hands one more time. The presence of the Lord is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It's good to see everyone. Amen. Let's welcome everyone that is with us on live stream today. Let's give them a real, a real welcome. Amen. We, we bless the Lord for you all being with us here. You didn't have to join us. Amen. But you're here with us. And so we thank God for you. We thank God for everyone that is here with us live. Amen. Amen. It's good to be in the house. David said it like this. He said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. And so it's a good time. It's a good thing to, to be able to safely gather in the house of the Lord. And so if you would, go with us to Psalms chapter 27. We want to get right into the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. We get right into the word. Amen. Young people have a, a, a rehearsal after service, and so we want to be mindful and let them have their time to prepare for their fourth Friday. Amen. I know the young people are excited about fourth Friday. Hallelujah. So we got a guest speaker coming in, and we're looking forward to having a great time in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, that is Psalms chapter 27. If you would stand with us, we're going to read the last two verses in that chapter. Praise the Lord. Psalm 27, verses 13 and verse 14. Amen. You have it sixty-five by saying, Amen. Amen. Good. Let's go ahead and read it all together. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you go ahead and set your smartphone down, your Bible down. Very quickly, lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift up your hands going to minister for a few moments on this theme right here. Uh, the goodness of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord. Amen. And so, uh, we're going to be blessed today in the name of Jesus. Father God, we praise you, we honor you, we thank you for allowing us to be gathered safely here uh, on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. God, we pray, God, that you will strengthen our hearts, encourage us in the word of the Lord, and maybe leave out of here better than the way, the way we came in. We pray, God, that you be glorified, and God, and that your word will manifest, God, your word will, hallelujah, will take root in our hearts on good ground. God, producing 30, 60, 100 souls. God, we're speaking 100 souls today in the name of Jesus. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. If you're gathering with us, if you haven't already, go ahead and start a watch party or share this out on your social media. Um, let's help spread the gospel. Let's help spread the word of the Lord to our family and to our friends that uh, they may be encouraged today. The goodness, the goodness of the Lord, the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, something we have to understand about th this kind of goodness. Amen. Uh, there's a difference. Amen. You got to understand something. There, there are levels to, to goodness here. And so uh, I want you to understand something. I didn't say the goodness of God. Praise the Lord. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't title this the goodness of God because the goodness of God and the goodness of the Lord is different. All right. Somebody look at somebody and say there's levels to this. Come on. There's levels to this. Somebody said, well, what do you mean, Pastor? Uh, goodness of God and the goodness of the Lord. Here's what you got to understand. See, there's something. Uh, I'm reminded, Matthew chapter 5, I believe, I mean, around verse 45. Look it up for me. Amen. The Bible speaks about, to the, it speaks to the fact of how uh, God, he, 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 shine, he shines, you know, the sun, amen, on the evil and the good, and he causes it to rain on the just as well as the unjust, amen. And so when we speak about, if we want to talk about the goodness of God, well, there's levels, amen. You see, there's a, a lower level to this because there's a level of goodness, 
amen, that I don't care how evil you are, I don't care how much you lie, steal, kill, I don't care how much you uh, you live horrible, um, God is good to us, amen, and how many appreciate that, because some of us live as hellions, some of us live in a way that God shouldn't have showed any kind of goodness to us, because we, we know we didn't deserve it, but because God, who is rich in mercy, hallelujah, the Bible declares that it is not his will that any man should perish, right? But that all should come to what? Repentance. And so and so there's a level of God's goodness that he shows to everybody. He causes his son to rise. Amen. He gives the evil and the good another chance to get it together, right? Hallelujah. And so we thank God. Amen. When we were deep in sin, God raised us up another day. He gave us new mercies. He gave us another opportunity to get that thing right. Anybody grateful this afternoon that, that you had that opportunity? Amen. God did not stop his son from rising on us. What does that mean? He didn't, he didn't cause us to die in our sins. Come on. Hallelujah. Some of us should have died in our sins. Some of us should have been long gone right now. Hallelujah. But God said, I love you too much. I'm, I'm trying to give you a chance. I'm, I'm enduring. God is enduring. That's the endurance of God. Amen. That is the very lesson that we are in in this month of January because uh, you understand God is patient with us. Hallelujah. God doesn't deal with us according to our sins. Amen. Amen. And so he is merciful. And so he calls us. He gives us another chance to rise in the morning. The Bible says he causes the rain to rain on the just I mean, and the unjust. And so uh, what is that? He gives us opportunity. See, rain, you understand something about rain. You need rain, amen, in order to cause the seed to grow, amen. So so God even allows the unjust to prosper in a sense, amen, because amen, uh, because he's just good like that. And so and you got seed, got, got get, he allows the rain to come, amen, to prosper some things for you hallelujah but you got to understand there's levels to this again amen so so you might be able to get the natural things and Hallelujah. Oh, with the goodness of God, you can get some natural things. You can you can see God come by from time to time. Amen. But there's another level to God's goodness. Amen. And when we really get a hold of that, it'll change us. When we really get a hold of this next level, anybody want to experience next level goodness? Amen. I want to experience next level. Hallelujah. I don't want just a bare minimum. Anybody like just bare minimum food? Amen. A couple of this, a couple of that. I want to be able to eat plenty. Amen. I want all of God's promises. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody said, I want to take back what the enemy stole from me. I want it all. I want everything. Everything God promised, I want to be able to have possession of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I got to find out what do I need to do? How do I need to align myself to get to get a hold of the, the true blessings, the true riches, the true goodness of God. Amen. And not just common things. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And so here's why we have David here. Amen. And he is, uh, David is reflecting in Psalms 27 and he's giving God praise uh, because he is reminding himself of everything that he was going through. He was reminding himself of how the adversary was coming for him and, and how they were trying to destroy him. And, and, and God was reminding him how every time the enemy came for you, uh, the enemy, hallelujah, amen, the wicked and his foes that came upon him, uh, the Bible declares they stumbled and they fail and so and so David is reflecting he's reminding himself hallelujah of some goodness amen but this is not just regular goodness this is a, a next level kind of goodness and so uh, as David is going through amen reflecting uh, again David was being attacked and David's family was falling apart and all kind of things were just uh, chaotic in his life hallelujah amen if we be honest with ourselves in this last year Hallelujah. If we be honest, amen, we had a lot of chaotic things going on in our lives. We had all kind of some challenges and issues and disappointments and setbacks, amen. Uh, but as we uh, recall to our mind, as Jeremiah said, therefore I have hope. See, we begin to look and we have hope, amen, because through it all, amen, we found out the goodness of God, amen, that God's hand is still upon us. God's mercy and goodness, amen, hallelujah, is still 
working in our favor. And just like David, and he's reflecting back. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, you get to verse 13. He said, I had fainted. Amen. He said, I was on the brink. I was on the very brink of falling apart. I was on the very brink of falling off the cliff. I was on the very brink of losing my mind. Anybody ever been to that point? Well, I need some honest folks in here. Wave your hand so, so people don't think we always had it all together. See, we got to look around and see, hallelujah, uh, that we all been in situations, amen, where, I, where we were about to faint, we were about to lose, where we are about to lose hope, and hallelujah, and we were in that desperate place, hallelujah, amen. And so here David, he's in this desperate place, hallelujah, but here on this side, he's reflecting, he said, he said I had fainted. I have fainted. I have fainted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When I look at that word, you know, I always, I always bring this word up because I think it's very important for us to remember this word and, and get these kind of words in our in our hearts and definitions so we don't we don't succumb, we don't fall backwards. Uh, uh, fainted. That word faint is the Hebrew word rafa. Everybody say rafa. Rafa, right? Again, hallelujah with the three Hebrew letters, right? You got the hey, you got resh, hallelujah, you have pay right? Amen. Hey is that which comes from. It's on the end. Uh, rest man's pay mouth, right? And so David said, I had fainted, right? He said, I fainted. God's picture of what? That which comes from man's mouth. Amen. See, when I was listening to man, when I was, when I was, uh, I got away from God's word. See, David, at that time, he was away from the temple. He couldn't get to the house of worship. He couldn't be where he needed to be. He was hiding out in caves and different places. Amen. And so he couldn't have the presence and, and get into that, that, that secret place where he needed to be with God. And so he was on the brink. Let me tell you something. Anytime we get away from the secret place, we're going to find ourselves listening to another voice. Anytime we get away from that secret place, amen, uh, the other voices are going to begin to rise up and they're going to they're gonna overshadow the voice of God. Hallelujah. It's going to cause us to get to a place where we feel like we're about to faint. And Cable was on that place. He was about to faint. Amen. From that which comes from man's mouth. Amen. I come to tell you this is not the hour to listen to what man has to say. Amen. I need to know what God is saying in this hour. Hallelujah. Of course, God speaks to man, but I need a spiritual man or woman that's going to speak into my life in this hour. I need somebody that is in tune with God to speak in my life. Amen. The season that we're in, the season some of you are in, we can ill afford to be connected to the wrong people. Hallelujah. This is the season. I got to connect with people that can help me. Amen. Not only get the, the, the bare minimum goodness of God, but I got to get to that next level of goodness. Amen. I got to get over the hump. Amen. I got to get into that overflow. Amen. And so I can't afford to connect myself with anybody and anything. Hallelujah. Lest I faint. David said, I have fainted. I have fainted, amen, uh, but the goodness of this is, amen, he said, I have fainted, and so what does that mean, even though I was on the very brink, amen, I didn't fall off, I didn't, I didn't lose my way completely, amen, and that's why many of us, everybody here today, you ought to give God praise, because many of us went astray, many of us fell off, many of us strayed, hallelujah, but God didn't allow us to stray too far, amen, God has a way of drawing us back. Amen. The Bible says we can't come to him except he first draw us. Anybody grateful that God was drawing you? Amen. Every time you tried to go this way, you know God is drawing you. And you kept trying to go this way anyway. But God just kept drawing you back. Amen. Ah, you couldn't get all the way away. Amen. And that for that reason alone, we ought to be grateful. For that reason alone, we ought to be thankful. God, I thank you. You didn't let me go too far. You didn't let me lose my way. You didn't let me lose my mind. You didn't let me lose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so here, David, I have fainted. I have fainted because the, the voice is outside distractions. Amen. But he grabbed a hold of something. He said, lest I believe something. I believe. I believe to see. Hallelujah. The goodness of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So here, where we're talking about, this is a next level kind of goodness. This is not just the sun rising. Amen. On the evening 
evil and the good are the rain falling on the just and unjust. But this is a next level kind of goodness that comes from God. Not just God, but the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, there's a different kind of expectation, amen, that we ought to have, amen, when we make God our Lord. Hallelujah. You got to understand something, people of God. The adversary don't care about us having a God. The adversary don't care nothing about us believing in God. The Bible says the devils believe that there are one God. Amen. They believe. They're convinced that there's one God. And the Bible says they tremble. Hallelujah. Ah, but they will never make him their Lord. Hallelujah. He's just a God. Somebody they know they can't conquer. But they want. he's not somebody that they will ever commit to. Hallelujah. That's why they're on their way to a fiery hell of eternity. Amen. Ah, but David said, I believe to see the goodness of the Lord. See, I, when you commit yourself to God, amen, when you commit to, how do you commit yourself to God? Hallelujah. It's not just going around and saying, I believe in God. I put God first. Amen. Uh, giving glory to God, the head of my life. That sounds really good. Amen. Hallelujah. But when we commit ourselves to God, I'm looking in this word. I'm searching in the scriptures. Hallelujah. And I'm crying out, God, teach me your ways, God. God, show me your glory, God. God, reveal yourself to me, God. God, I got to know you, God. I'm like Paul. God, I got to know you in the power of your resurrection, God. That same power that raised Christ from the grave. I've got to believe, God, that that's the same power that can pull me out of my mess. That's the same power that can pull me out of my slothfulness and my doubt. That same power that can deliver my life. Amen. Hallelujah. The power of your resurrection. The fellowship of your suffering, God. God, because you God, if I'm going to be like you, if I want to have a relationship with you, I got to learn how to suffer through some things. Amen. I got to learn how to endure some things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that I can get closer to you. You got to understand something, people of God. We can't get closer to God if we don't endure and suffer through some things. Amen. If there's no suffering, hallelujah. Amen. If there's no connection, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible declared, if you will suffer with me, amen, you will reign with me. And so there's a there's an element of us having to go through and endure and having seasons of it what seems like setbacks, amen. But you got to understand they're not really setbacks, amen. God is striving to set us up, hallelujah, to draw us nearer to him, to help us to have, hallelujah, a kind of heart that is after God that will help us to learn how to love the Lord thy God with all of our heart, all of our mind, all of our soul, and all of our strength, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout the goodness of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord. See, look, see, when you really grab a hold of this, the goodness of the Lord, amen, it's a game changer. See, if we were in sports, amen, hallelujah, what you need in sports is you need, Brother Michael, he's my, he's a witness, we need momentum, don't you? You need momentum, huh? you need something to work in your favor, and when you get the momentum, amen, it don't matter what sport it is, uh, when momentum is on your side, uh, it changes your psyche, you begin to get excited, all right, uh, it's home now. Anybody in sports in here, teenager, amen, uh, you hit a couple shots or you scored a couple touchdowns or you did something and you're like, oh, it's home now. I got a hold of this, amen. It's home. Let's go. Let's go. Expectations rise, amen. Now you're ready to perform on another level. Hallelujah. Because you got a hold of momentum. Here is David. Hallelujah. Ah, as he was about to faint, but he said, ah, lest I believe to see something. He got a hold of something. He got a hold hold of the goodness of the Lord. Amen. He said, he said, my Lord, hold on, hold on now. I committed myself to you, God. Now, I know when I mess up and, I, and I'm like everybody else, I fail, I fall, and I sin, but when I sin, huh, I repent. Amen. I get myself back in alignment, and I declare you are my Lord. I am your son. I am your daughter, and, and I'm committed to living for you. Amen. And so, and so as I'm going through my moment, as I'm having my challenges, amen, hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. And it seems like my life is about to fall apart. I know it's not about to fall apart, literally, but I know, God, you're about to allow it to fall into place. You're about to allow me to get where you desire for me to get. And so I see something. I see the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. See, this is what the adversary is intimidated. He's intimidated about. He's intimidated about us making God our Lord. I told you earlier, we can patty cake all day long. Oh, I love God. I love God. Amen. But when you say, I love the Lord, the enemy gets to trembling. He gets to getting nervous. Why? Because that means something. That means he can't, everything he's trying to do to discourage us, we're still holding on to God's unchanging hands. Amen. We're still believing that God is faithful. We're believing that God is good. And there's another level of goodness that God has for his saints. Amen. And so I expect my expectation and my hope is in him. As David said, I believe to see the goodness of the Lord. Anybody believe to see the goodness of the Lord? Come on. Come on. You got to understand something. Come on. You've been fasting. You've been laboring. You've been committing yourselves. Amen. You've been honoring God. You've been praying. You've been, but you've been going through and you've been getting lied on and people have been coming for you and all things, come, all manner of, of trials come at you. Amen. See, will you grab a hold of the goodness of the Lord? I can sit here and go through this thing, God. I, I can go through it. I can endure this thing, God, because God, you are my God. You are my Lord. And I know, God, you won't leave me or forsake me. God, I know you won't because God, you promised me, God. And if you forsake me now, it'll make you a liar. And I know you're not a liar because the Bible says it is impossible. Everybody say impossible. The Bible says it is impossible for God to lie. Come on now. If it's impossible for God to lie, huh, it's not nowhere in his fabric or in his character to lie. So if God says it, Come on, God says it. Hallelujah. And we're committing ourselves to him. It don't matter how much we got to go through. It don't matter how much we got to get lied on or ridiculed or rejected. Hallelujah. I know after a while, God's going to make a way out of no way. I know after a while, God know how to beat down doors that no man can open. God know how to shut doors that no man can close. This is what I know. I'm talking about the goodness of the Lord, people of God. Come on, we got to grab a hold of this kind of goodness, amen. Come on, come on, we're not living saved, hallelujah, suffering and going through for no purpose, y'all. This is for a purpose, amen. Come on, there's something on the other side of this, amen. Why would God go through, hallelujah, coming down, humiliating himself, amen, to put himself, the very God in flesh, hallelujah, to get persecuted, and put on a cross. They looked at him and they looked at him like he was an idiot. You're an idiot. What are you doing up here? If you're a God, you went around opening blinded eyes and healing people. Why can't you get yourself down? Why can't you save yourself? That is humiliation. It wasn't no cute little thing. Hallelujah. We wear our cute little crosses. Amen. But Christ on the cross wasn't nothing cute. Amen. He was up there bru bru bruised and naked, y'all. He didn't have no clothes on, he was humiliated, the very God in flesh, and they looked at him like a clown, amen, but the songwriter said he would not come down from the cross just to save himself, amen, but what he decided, he decided, hallelujah, to die, he decided to endure, he decided, hallelujah, to go through this thing, because he knew his father in heaven was not going to forsake him, he knew I had to do that which pleases my father. So I'm going to endure this cross. I'm going to despise this shame. Hallelujah. Because I know on the other side, God's going to make a way. God's going to see me through. God's going to come by and see about me. Anybody believe the word of God today? Come on, you ought to take a moment and thank God for the goodness of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The goodness of the Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm so encouraged. I'm stirred up right now. I'm stirred up in my heart. Hallelujah. Because I see the bishop over here. The bishop, y'all ain't seen him change up. He's a, he's a regular human like everybody else. Y'all, he has feelings. He has emotions. Amen. But every time bishop comes to church, amen, bishop is praising God. Huh? Bishop has, he, he has feelings, y'all. He knows what's going on. Hallelujah. He knows the trials and everything that his 
mama was going through, but Bishop, huh, he came in here giving God the loudest praise. He came in here, hallelujah, making sure I'm not missing. I'm not missing because I got to be where God is, hallelujah. And on the other side of that, hallelujah, if we can remember just last year, we can remember his mama in here and she's testifying, hallelujah, and she's going through her own thing. The doctor said you're sicker than what you look like. You're sicker. I don't know why. I don't know why you don't feel what's going on in your life right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this. I don't. I didn't even know I was connected. Y'all help me out in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I didn't know I was connected. So you have the mama. She's testifying and she's like, hey, Amen. I'm going through, but I got to get to church. Hey, Amen. She said, I got to get here because I believe God. Y'all heard her for, out of her own mouth. She said, I believe God is going to heal me. Wave your hand if you heard. You heard her say, God's going to heal me. I'm believing God. I'm believing God. And so she keeps speaking faith. Amen. Because it, when she was on the brink of fainting, when she was, when she felt like giving up, and she had her moments, y'all. Uh, she had plenty of those moments. Hallelujah. Where I'm tired. I don't feel like I can go on. Amen. But she believed to see the goodness of the Lord. Amen. She believed to see. She believed that yeah, if I'm going to go through some things, amen, if I'm going to be saved, God, you fill me with the Holy Ghost. You baptize me and wash my sins away, God. And now all my friends are leaving me. Y'all got to understand her testimony. Hallelujah. She was suffering physically with her body. And then her friends would leave her. Her friends talked about her. Family despised her. Amen. Why are you so committed to God? Why you only want to listen to church music? Why you only want to pray all the time? Hallelujah. Because she was being transformed. Was, is she perfect? No. We're all growing in this thing. Amen. But she made a commitment to make God. God, her Lord, hallelujah. So as she is going through what she's going through, hallelujah, hallelujah, we understand what happened. Her, her illness took a turn for the worse, hallelujah. And last month, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah, she began to go drastically down to the place where she was on ICU, in ICU, y'all. Come on, on a ventilator, fully breathing for her, totally unresponsive. The doctors went in there, the doctor said, they gave you that look. You know how the doctor give you that look. They don't say nothing, but they that look is you already know. You, your family needs to come in. Y'all need to make a decision. You need to pull the plug. Hallelujah, because it's over. Hallelujah. But how many understand something? It ain't over until God says it's over. It ain't over. See, when you when you believe to see the goodness of the Lord, hallelujah. Oh God, you know after a while, he that shall come, he will come. Come on, and he will not tarry. He's gonna see about me. Hallelujah. And so as the saints are praying and the saints are believing and Bishop RJ ain't changing up, he's going after God. He's shouting at God's glory. He's giving him his praise. Amen. I'm grateful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because, amen, we're at the Campbell's house yesterday. God bless my brother, my brother, my brother. God bless him. Hallelujah. God bring him through. Heal him up. Bring him. Make him well. Amen. We're sitting at their house and we get a, we get a FaceTime call. Hallelujah. And who pops up on the FaceTime call? Uh, she pops up right on the call. And she's looking, eyes open. She's waving. Hallelujah. Uh, she, and we looking like, my God. Hallelujah. Come on, you can't tell me. My God is not able. Come on. Our God can do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that worketh. I need somebody to lift up your hand and say, God, I need you to work in me. I need you to work in me. Work faith in me. Work, come on, come on, come on, work in me, God. Come on, work doubt out of me. Come on, I need every fear to work out of me, God. God, I want to be in a place where I can see the goodness of the Lord. I want to be in a place where I can believe if I'm going to go through, God, come on, I'm going through. And you're going to come by. Right, you're going to make a way. You're going to deliver me. You're going to bring me out. You're going to see me through. Come on. Come on. My heart is stirred up. My heart is stirred up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when you believe God, come on. The Bible says all things. Everybody shout all things. Not some things. Not a lot of things. Not a little things, but all things are possible to them that believe. Come on, come on. That, that believe to see the goodness, hallelujah, of the Lord. Come on, we see the goodness. She believed to see the goodness of the Lord. 
And God raised her up out that bed. He raised her up out that ICU room. Amen. She's in a regular room. Hallelujah. Uh, she's recovering, y'all. Come on, to God be the glory. If God don't do anything else with her, we know God is able. If God don't do nothing else, amen, we know God can pull you out of your deathbed. She was sitting on the brink of death, but she believed God. Your situation might be on the brink of death right now, but I dare you to believe Shai I dare you to believe God right now. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how it feels. I don't care who says it. Amen. If you dare to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, come on, come on. That's what activates the grace of God. Hallelujah. Because I got the faith. Amen. So God said, I'm going to couple that with my grace. Amen. So that's why Jesus had to come. Hallelujah. John 1 and we've been held his glory as the only begotten of the Father. He was full of grace and truth. Amen. See, we ought to behold him right now. You ought to behold his goodness. And when we behold the goodness of the Lord, hallelujah. Come on. Come on. I can wait until my change come. Come on. I can wait on you, God. I can wait because my level, hallelujah, of expectation is rising. And that's why David said in verse 14, hallelujah, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Come on, somebody, God is telling you right now. Come on, come on, my goodness is right here. You just got to wait on me. You got to wait on me. What does that mean? Hallelujah. That don't mean sitting down, twiddling your thumbs, amen, and being discouraged and disappointed. Well, God, you ain't came by today. Uh, God, I'm disappointed. It's another week. You ain't came by. Wait on the Lord is about an expectation that only God can do it. And so, God, I expect you, God. And so, in my waiting, I'm going to serve you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to commit myself, amen. I'm I'm going to draw closer to you. I'm going to do whatever I got to do. Amen. Lay aside. Whatever I got to lay aside. Amen. Cast off. Whatever I got to cast off, God. Because I got to be where you are. Anybody want to be where God is? Come on. Who wants to be where God is? Hallelujah. Come on. We should lift your hands right now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. God said, come on. Come on. God wants to be where we are. Come on. God wanted to be where we are so bad that he came down to be with us. The Bible says, hallelujah. He commanded the light to shine out of the darkness. And now he has shined in our hearts. Amen. To give us the, the light of the knowledge of the glory of God. The Bible says, in the face of Jesus. Come on. Come on. He did all of this that we might behold the goodness of the Lord. That we might, hallelujah, we might find our way through this. We might navigate our way through this. Come on, y'all. We're living in a time right now where people are fainting. They're fainting, hallelujah, because they're listening. They're listening to the voice of, of the government. They're listening to the voice, hallelujah, of politicians and all these other people. Amen. And you saw what happened this past week. Amen. People are fainting because, hallelujah, uh, they hear the rhetoric that's coming from both sides that's telling us, come on, our world is never going to be the same. Come on, we are in trouble. America's in trouble. America's in trouble. We got to save America. We got to save America. We got to fight for America. And all of this rhetoric going back and forth and got the people fear, feared and stirred up. Hallelujah. And what the people do, hallelujah. We saw what happened. The people feel like we got to go storm and take over and save our country. Let me tell you something. Psalm said, it like this, except the Lord build the house, huh? the laborers build in vain, except the Lord keep the city, the watchmen watch but in vain, hallelujah, but if we if we allow ourselves to faint, we will try to work this thing out on our own, we will forsake all common sense, huh? that's what that word faint also means, it means to forsake, it means to leave off, we'll leave off wise counsel, and we'll start doing silly things uh, out of the side of our minds, we get out of our minds. How are we going to think we're going to take over a government? How do we, who, did you think that was a good idea when you first thought about it? Hey, Amen. But that lets you know you can get caught up in emotions and voices and it can lead you somewhere. But let me tell you something. Hallelujah. My hope is built on nothing less. Hey, Amen. Than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. The songwriter said, he said, I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but I hold, everybody say holy trust. I wholly trust in Jesus' name. Come on. 
We trust in the name of the Lord. Come on. God did establish government. Hallelujah. So we need to pray for our government. We need to pray. But you got to understand something. God is ultimately in control. The heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. Amen. God knows how to turn it. He knows how to move it. He knows how to settle. Hallelujah. Government the way it's going to be. Amen. And God knows how to allow things to happen. He allowed us to see when we try to put things in our own hands what happens. Amen. We've got to trust in the Lord with all of our hearts. Amen. We got to not lean hallelujah, our rest on our own understandings. Amen. The Bible says in all of our ways acknowledge him and he what shall direct our path. Everybody stand to your feet. Hallelujah. We're talking about the goodness of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord. I'm here. I'm here to remind somebody. I'm here to encourage somebody right now. Hallelujah. But there's some goodness of the Lord that God wants to reveal to you. Amen. Hallelujah. But you can't you can't tap into this kind of goodness. Hallelujah. Until you surrender to God. This level of goodness only comes to them that surrender. This level of joy, this level of peace, this level of provision how only comes to them that surrender to God. Come on, God ain't crazy. God don't just give everybody everything and you not surrender to him. Hallelujah. God is not silly like that. Amen. But those that will draw near to him, those that will, hallelujah, dwell in that secret place, those that will get real close to him. God knows has a way of revealing things. He has a way, hallelujah, of allowing us to see, oh God, the path that we ought to take, hallelujah. Lift your hands right now, come on, because God's going to drop some supernatural goodness, amen, because here we're going to commit and recommit that God, I'm going to endure whatever I got to endure, God, because I, you must be my Lord, God, you must always be at the forefront of my mind and my thoughts, God, I can't have a moment where I allow another voice, you got to understand, Eve, allow another voice to to speak to her and the, and the serpent that old slick serpent he just changed up one word have God not said hallelujah he added one little slick word changed up the course of humanity hallelujah and got Eve thinking trying to figure some things out for herself amen well maybe I can't be like God maybe I can think like him maybe I can do my own thing hallelujah and Adam goes ahead and follows suit and brings sin into the world hallelujah from listening to to another voice. We got an opportunity right now to listen to the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. We got an op uh, opportunity right now to make up in our mind that I'm going to wait on you. I'm going to wait on you. Hallelujah. God, your goodness is better than life. Yes. Uh, come on. Your goodness. Hallelujah. Your goodness. Oh, God, this is why I'm here. This is why I live. It is in you that I live and that I move and that I have my being, God. And so, God, I'm not going to turn another way. I'm not going to try another way or open another door that you won't open, God. God, I'm going to sit here. I, I'm going to know that you are God. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands high. Lift your hands high. Come on. If you lift your hands near your pockets and the cop said, freeze, put your hands up, uh, that you might get shot, amen, because you can still reach. You can still make some moves, amen. But when you lift your hands high, hallelujah, they know that you're surrendered, amen. Let's lift our hands high in the spirit and let's lift our hearts to God, hallelujah. And we're going to make a commitment to God because, God, I want to experience the goodness of the Lord. God, I want to experience your deliverance, your goodness, your kindness, hallelujah. God, I want to be godly. I want to be righteous. I want to be set apart. I want to be used by you. Hallelujah. God, I don't want you want you just for your, your blessings, God, but I want the blesser, God. I want a relationship with you, God. Draw me nearer, God, as I submit to you, God. Hallelujah. Give me the grace to resist the devil. Hallelujah. And as your promise, he will flee from me. Lift your hands right now in the name of Jesus. Lift them high. If you're here right now, and if you're watching online, hallelujah, and you want to experience next level goodness of the Lord, hallelujah, make your callings and your elections sure this day, amen. Make up your mind that I don't want a superficial, hallelujah, surface relationship with God, but God, I want something real. I want, I want to commit to, I want to commit in a way that I actually set myself, be able to be set apart, amen, that I be able to be cleansed and clean inside, amen, hallelujah, a 
vessel of honor. God, I want to commit in such a way, amen, that God, I can walk with you and I can hear you and you can hear me and we can fellowship, hallelujah, and we can be one together in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands, come on, in the name of Jesus, we're praying right now, hallelujah, hallelujah, come on, come on, come on, the goodness of the Lord, amen, this kind of goodness, you can't have this kind of goodness if you have not received the born again, if you have not been born again of the water and spirit, according to John chapter 3, amen, this kind of goodness, hallelujah, amen, is only for them, hallelujah, that got the seal of God, uh, the Bible declares, he knows them that are his, amen, hallelujah, they have a seal, hallelujah, they have a seal, they, they have, they, they have his name on them, they've been washed in the blood of the lamb, uh, they've been down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ, amen, they've been baptized in the spirit, hallelujah, amen, they have faith in that other tongue that the spirit of God gave the utterance, amen, and now we have intimacy with him, come on, here's where we are right now, if you're online, come on, come on, you want next level, you want next level goodness, here is your moment, here is your chance to commit to God, God, I need to be born again according to your word, hallelujah, God, I know, except a man has been born again of the water and spirit, the Bible says he cannot enter into the kingdom of God, John 3 and 7, the Bible declares, marvel not, you must be born again, this is not an option, hallelujah, that you're not going to finagle your way into the goodness of the Lord, hallelujah, you got to be born in this thing, lift your hands and talk to God right now, come on, Hallelujah. Come on, this is no judgment zone. Hallelujah. We know what it is. Amen. Bible says, judge yourself. Judge yourself. Where am I with God? Hallelujah. Where are you with God? Where do you want to be with God? Hallelujah. Now make your lessons, your calling, your lessons sure. Hallelujah. As the altar is open right now, come on, you ought to come to the altar. God, I want this next level. God, help me. Help me, God, to get where I need to be that I may experience a next level blessing, next level grace, next level goodness, next level mercy. Come on, next level peace. Hallelujah. Come on. I don't want just that feel good emotion, emotional kind of goodness, amen. I want the spiritual goodness, amen. I want the spiritual blessings, amen. That thing that can keep me beyond my emotions. Hallelujah. Come on. The altar is open. Hallelujah. The altar is open. If you're here, if you're here, hallelujah, and you want to be saved, if you're here, you want to be baptized in Jesus' name. If you're here, you want to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Come on. This day is for you. This day is for you. This goodness is here waiting for you. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible declares in Romans 2 and 4 that there's a level of God's goodness that he allows us to experience, amen, but it's supposed to lead us to repentance. It's supposed to lead us to a change of mind. It's supposed to lead us to a place, hallelujah, where we want more, oh, not to stay the same. Come on, we got to go to another level in him. We got to grow in him. Hallelujah, the goodness of the Lord. We thank you, Lord. If you're watching online and you and, and God is dealing with your heart. He's moving on your heart. Hallelujah. Give us a message. Text us. Amen. Inbox us. Connect with us. We will come and meet with you. Amen. That God will help you.